guys welcome back to my channel today I will be showing you how I achieve my twist outs using the lock method now for those of you that don't know what the lock method is it's the method used on natural hair to retain moisture and what it stands for is leave-in conditioner oil and cream moisturizer so without further ado let's get started on the hair tutorial so I'm starting off with freshly co-washed hair and I sectioned off my hair in four sections the leave-in conditioner that I chose to use is Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner and I apply that to each section of my hair. Make sure you're putting a decent amount in each section and working it into your scalp as well. And don't forget the ends, make sure that you're putting the leave-in conditioner at the ends of your hair in order to ensure that your ends are properly nourished as well. And for my oil, I'm using Jamaican black castor oil. I love Jamaican black castor oil. It seals in moisture. Because it's such a thick oil, it's really beneficial for people with dry 4C hair like mine. It makes my hair so soft. For my cream moisturizer, I'm going to use ORS's olive oil smooth and whole pudding. This acts as both a moisturizer and a hair gel because it provides moisture and it provides hold. Make sure when you're using this product for twist outs or any other style that you use it after applying oil to your hair. And don't use too much of it because like any other type of hair gel, it has the potential to cause flakes. So I'm parting my hair and dividing each section for my twist. Make sure that as you are twisting your hair that you smooth in the product by rubbing each part downward as you're twisting. This helps keep the cuticles of your hair closed and it helps to seal in the moisture better. Also make sure that as you reach towards the end of each twist, that you twist the end of it around your finger to create a little coil. This helps prevent split ends. So now I'm just going to place my satin bonnet over my twists and let them dry overnight. So it's the next day and my twists are completely dry and a bit shrunken. So now I'm going to unravel each twist and I'm going to divide each section of each twist in order to create more volume. to take my pink pick and I'm going to fluff out my roots and keep fluffing until I achieve the volume that I want. Then I'm just going to take a few bobby pins and my denim brush and I'm just going to sweep one side of my hair up into the style that I'm trying to create. This is typically how I wear my twist styles. now the look is complete and that's it guys if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next time bye